Hi Gemini, welcome on Catch It Up on my YouTube channel. I do your uh, the April love reading for uh, 2022. Keep in mind, uh, Gemini, this is a general reading, probably what no rest for all of you. But if you do like my channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you want. I would be very thankful and grateful to support my channel. Cross watcher, you're also welcome. Please don't try to force a message. You will know if this is your story. Switch it also, of course, if you want. You know your story better than I do. But this is specific for my uh, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you want to have a prayer reading with me, Gemini, you find all the information on my description box below, how you can reach out. And then for my fashionista up there, you can also enjoy me on my other side of the uh, channel, Beauty Master of Disaster. It's my new YouTube channel. Uh, with some fashion ideas for my ladies up there around the world with some Italian Swiss uh, style ideas <laughs> let's put it that way all right I hope you're doing fantastic Gemini wherever you are in the world especially safe and happy all right let's jump in now for your love uh, April reading my love team please tell me about my Gemini what Gemini need to know for this month new love release your ex underneath chemistry a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and uh, release your ex uh, the time has come to clear your energy wow okay <laughs> i think that you are right now in a very powerful situation Gemini I need to say that something like a transit is going on right now for you a transit big transit and uh, that it feels like almost like um, love in the first sight with the chemistry also underneath like you will feel right away that something's going on or it's going to happen almost like you can touch it all right beautiful so far uh, could be also the other person is releasing their acts uh to have this new opportunity in love that could be also for some of you but let's see let's start with your reading gemini my love team please tell me about my gemini what gemini need to know for this month in love my love team chariot uh cancer give me the focus the three of wands give me the recent past Page of uh, Wands, New Future, the Four of uh, Swords, uh, the Challenge, the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, uh, it's for your possible outcome. Give me the over energy for my Gemini, my love team. The hanging man, you are taking your time, taking your time, but also to like having a seat and cha uh, change the perspective to, for the view, of the, the view of point of yours, uh, Gemini. But it's something like I say, you're saying probably I take a step back, let's see where this can go or what will be next. I, like I said before, it's something that you're going through right now at transit. And the Knight of Swords could be also the impulsive, impulsive, you know, like uh, starting to stop, not starting, yeah, starting to stop, could be us, yes, uh, to not take everything so fast, fast moving, this is your energy, Gemini. Also that um, to handle everything also in your mental section very fast or very soon, or like I do it now, or it's something here they start starting to change big time. On the recent past, with the page of wands, you show me here, you try all the time to maintain something uh, beautifully into your uh, environment, to bring all the time good uh, um, uh, news, like uh, we can do it, positive, a lot of positivity, and more positive here on the current. Uh, let's do it, I'm going to do it. Wherever it takes, I'm, I'm in a good path. I change here like a lot of positivity. I need to say that something has changed since probably you release your ex or um, the something it's done, something like that. With the three of wands, it's waiting. Something like, I need to wait or I'll have to let you wait, but it's something like now it's time to the shift, the ship are coming in 
and um, something that are waiting for a long time, something like that. Four of, but it's without pressure, I need to say that. Um, four of Swords, take a time for yourself but also rejuvenate, but it also could be uh, you're planning to uh, go on vacation. Something that probably you do by yourself, but it's also like rest, rest yourself. The Empress is your challenge. This is like, what if my, um, uh, my empire is not growing anymore? Or what will be if um, um, something will up, uh, obstacles me as my growth? Something like that, the Eight of Pentacles. It's the possible outcome. This is work, big time. Work on something here. It could be work on together, work on yourself. Let's see, but looks very good. Looks very good, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Give me the hanging man for the over energy for my Gemini. Knight of Swords, the Sun, and the Ace of Cups. Wow. You will, or you are right now, like I said before, um, Gemini, you are on three of cups underneath. You are coming from a space uh, that you understand yourself. And this is now, I know it sounds very superficial, but believe me that it's not, because the, um, something that you're saying probably on yourself, it had to happen everything for a particular reason about everything happened, right? Probably it, hap it needed to happen um, that I'm standing now here and try to see my life. You know, like observe your life in general. And observe everything which around you. What makes you happy? What makes you not happy? Why you act so impulsively? You have twice the, the night of sorts. Uh, because probably with your impulsivity, impulsive, you hurt yourself or it was a big disappointment because probably you try to um, maintain something extremely uh, on this way that you wanted, but by the end, you figure out it was not that destined. Like, you know, like the pushing forward for something that you wanted to have, it's not, it were not fulfilling you. And now with the sun there, it's something that you're saying, look at me, look how many beautiful things I still have. You know, when you're sitting there, and you are concerned about, no concern, excuse me, no concern. Um, you realize now, you realize about what you have, everything on yourself, on what you grow, or about, about what you. About what you um, build yourself, but not just material, it's also your life, right? So it's about now you're saying, fortunately, I did it that way because now I see also the transit that have to happen because probably if I didn't, uh, I didn't um, act like that today I were probably still stuck or still disappointed and with the three of cups it's something here that you celebrate on yourself I don't feel it's a reconciliation I feel it's more like a celebration that you're saying it's a happiness on yourself that you're saying I, it's something like that you free yourself and you are very proud about what you built so far for yourself. Now, give me the page of uh, wands for the recent past, the devil and the star. Yeah, you try, you, again, you try all the time to bring a lot of positivity, pos positivity on this relationship. Either you knew back then it probably was something toxic or addicted that you had to free yourself. But I feel here again, you did it in a way to be a lot of positive, positive. Um, to find like all the time a resolution and to find um, um, a reason to maintain something that you wanted to have all cost, like we do it, I know we can do it, let's be positive. But at the same time, with the devil there, you knew that something was not health thing. You knew it then already, something was starting, you know, red, red flags, like, ah, uh, Something's going on, why I feel differently if I tr either I try to be positive, something's starting to, you couldn't feel that something was not on the right, um, on the right um, path. Give me the, give me, what you give me? The, give me the chariot for the current, 10 of wands, the empress, 
in the five of swords. A lot of people that want to have, uh, how I can put that with? I need to be now very careful how I speak, right? Um, people, and I feel you know, they try to pull a little bit also your positivity away and it's very hard to deal with. I need to say, Jam and I, because more you want to be positive and more people are saying, nah, Gemini, forget it. This is not the right position or direction you want to do it or try it differently because no, because they see you growth. That's why probably the, the empress in the challenge, I need to clarify that one, but they see the growth, the more, you put more positivity because either that you went through a big challenge, big um, uh, disappointment into your life, People, they probably say, no, this never will work, Gemini. Uh, never, um, don't expect anything from this uh, challenge. Or, you know, they try to push you in another direction, which it's very heavy. Because you, you're probably saying to also to these people, why you bother me? Why you just let me do whatever I want to do? Probably it's also another mother involved or a mother figure I see here, or could be also a sibling. sibling or a very good friend of yours and it's like they don't see the viewpoint of you and you're saying you know what either it's very heavy for me because I thought that I couldn't um, trust you but also to uh, take you with me in this adventure probably it's not the right thing to do probably I have to pull back because you know we are not seeing eye to eye give me a three of uh, wands The Eight of Cups and the Emperor. You're waiting for your perfect match that you know somewhere is there because you are detached from you. You're detached from something that's not fulfilling anymore. And you work, you're waiting, no waiting. It's not that you're doing this with expectation, um, Gemini. It's more like, I know somewhere is there, I know. And everywhere, everyone can tell me there's no true or uh, the perfect match, it's the only on the movie or wherever. Uh, but it's something that you can feel it, that there it's your perfect match. It's almost like you are painting somewhere, this perfect match. Could be also when you're painting that on a piece of paper or you know if or if you're create creativity creative creative yeah when you're creative something you put in paper or something that you're saying i it's exactly the way i want it and need to be not need i want because need and want are two different things the perfect match is have to be like that i don't go to compromise because it's something here that you understand also the point of others or how to expect the other or you know like that perfect match doesn't mean that you guys have to be the same no at all this means like the respect of each other this is what for you it's very important the respect equal give and take give me the four of swords for the new future five of cups Four of Cups and the Hermit. You don't compromise anymore, longer, anything. You're saying, I prefer to standing still here. I prefer to standing by myself, but not dealing with any bullshit. Excuse me, my elegance, Gemini. Um, it's something that you go, you refuse to either to think about it and you say no. Because again, it's something that you probably, when you close your eyes or you open your eyes, it's something you're probably manifesting. But it's also here like anything, I don't either want to think about my negativity, what I have went through, what I went through. I don't want to cry on my spelled milk. I don't want to cry over spelled milk. I try to <clears throat> because I'm mature. But I never and ever go to compromise for something or someone if they want to reciprocate with me the same, what I want, not need, want. Wow, give me the challenge. Give me the Empress, please. The Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Hanging Man. Okay, wow. It's about someone want to work with you big time. 
the only thing is to think properly what if this particular energy will block my growth and I feel that you're dealing that because out of fear you're a little bit you know like concerned but like because you're feeling so um so power Full, but also so powerful in your element, Gemini. I need to say that. And like with the hanging man, you show me again, Gemini, that you you taking your time to understand about what the other person can give you and what you can give to them without pretending and but without expectation. And this is big, Gemini, because putting yourself in a situation that you know you can also be extremely happy on yourself. But of course, being too, it's more nice, right? But the only thing you're saying, what if my growth will stop? What if this is everything that I have to work with? Or I have to work more on myself? And that's why you're taking your time. Wow. Okay. I didn't expect this reading. Beautiful reading for each, uh, peop uh, each people, each uh, uh, sign today. I need to say that. Give me the Eight of Pentacles, a lot of transition, a beautiful transition. Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Moon. You act a little bit out of fear because it's very important for you the same, receive the same for the other one. But I need to say also that it's starting to intrigue you. That's why probably you're juggling a little, bit, a little bit like, should I do it now? Should I do it later? Should I work more with me, with myself? What I have to do? But with the moon there, you show me a little bit like your conscience about the action, about every action that you do. You're very conscious, uh, Gemini. And this is what people around, they love about you. Because you're starting to be extremely conscious. And with the king of swords on the knees, it's um you're very determined also to uh, maintain something that you built so far which uh this is big big things going on here but i need to say also gemini that the person that probably you're going to deal with soon or you are right now in um they hoping that you're not juggling with them like we can do it we can do it together um, because with the new love, it's something like the, that it's love here, love is here, or will be here, but it's something like, do I am ready, or this person is ready, or is Gemini ready, don't struggle, we can do it. And something here with a fear, fear, being afraid to have like this transition, or are you done with this, this transit, or are you ready for this new love? Are you welcome in this new love? It's almost like I feel so more that feels more like an, a single reading today. <laughs> I don't know why, but big things is happening in uh, the month of April. I need to say that could be also the new uh, the new moon that we will have, or the full moon, the new moon in Aries, or the new the full moon. Excuse me, in uh, Libra. That could be also like a decision need to be made on the full moon or new moon. It could be also, or like a, an unclear will be done in the new or full moon. Give me an advice for my Gemini. Beautiful reading today, Gemini. I need to say that. The Four of Cups, the High Priestess, and Ten of Wands. I need another one. A magician, you. Sometimes probably you feel yourself, do I am ready now? Do I really ready for half? Um, or this is uh, just something uh, quick in and quick out? Um, the high priest I feel here, Gemini, this is your intuition, you know. You know, Gemini, what you're supposed to do or what you're going to do, you know what you're manifesting, uh, Gemini. And this is something here that you have to release, that's why it's a transit here, that you are there where you wish for. It's, you're almost there. It's a transition, like I said before, that only you will know to listen to your intuition when it's the right time. But no one, your intuition can stop to development, you grow, no one. Because it's something that you create on yourself, on your own, all right? Joanna, what a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for being here. Have a beautiful April ahead. I come very soon with my next reading. Oh yes, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.